it's a big day. We're back at the base of the waterfall in Evergrande City and we're about to scale said waterfall as we approach the final hurdle between us and the Pokemon League, that hurdle being Victory Road. Some pretty relaxing music considering the hell we're about to potentially go through. But before we enter Victory Road, we do have the, the safe haven of a little Poke Center here. Oh, and I also have something to show you. We leveled up a couple of Pokemon, just out of interest. My god, Teabag Jenny, look at the stats. For comparison, this is Mew, this is a mythical Pokemon. Hundreds across the board, near enough. Teabag Jenny, 141 attack, 140 special attack, 108 speed. Move set, night days, overheat, iron head and muddy water. We're not bringing her in though, because it's too late in the game I think. It's too late in the game. As tempting as it is, Magnet pulls the ability as well, which we found out earlier. It's just too late. But we also leveled up Shinobi, who has the simple ability, which is outrageous in the sense that random stats will just be getting boosted every single turn. And look at the move set. It's just, we made it a special Greninja just because the moves available, Fiery Dance. Freeze dry, sludge bomb, and hydro pump. Uh, let's face the fact: if something happens, if something morbid happens in Victory Road, we've got a couple of great subs, as well as Old Faithful Barry and Boom Junior. Not to forget Vasenia, but Teabag Jenny and Shinobi are waiting in the wings. But fingers crossed, no such drastic changes shall be required. So, without further ado, <laughs> entering Victory Road. Yes, we are. Uh, we do get an encounter here, and it's our final encounter of the game. Oh. oh, it's a nice, epic version of the Pokemon theme. So yeah, as I was saying, this is our final encounter of the game. And the lucky Pokemon is a Porygon set. <laughs> Which is species. 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 We run from Porygon. Who's next? Come on. <laughs> it, it takes something unbelievable to make it into its, into the team at this stage. Oh, they're making us wait. They're making us wait. Level 38 as well. This is no joke. The, the levels we're at at this stage. What was that, by the way? That cry was unreal. Oh, it's the Gudra. Oh, I love a Gudra. I love a Gudra. And because it is the final encounter of the game, we will lob the Master Ball, which fittingly matches Gudra's colour scheme. Do we get the triple jigs of the Master Ball? Completely unnecessary because it is a guaranteed catch, but Gudra has been caught. After all those encounters, Gudra is the final Mon to join the squad. The female Gudra. We've got Cindy Lou and we've got Cindy Goo. <laughs> You know what, let's check her out quickly. So Cindy Goo has the defence boosting nature, negative on the special attack, and has Sand Veil. Not something that's forcing its way into the team at this late stage. If Teabag Jenny and Shinobi can't force their way into the team, it's a pass for Cindy Goo. But anyway, we're back in Victory Road. So the problem here is that this place is absolutely littered with ace trainers and their their Pokemon are all mid forties, so it's What is that Pokemon? I need to find out what that is. I'm certainly no Dex Nav expert. I'm not sure if you're supposed to go quickly up to them. Yeah you are. Let's just that cry was was quite ominous. Oh it's the Zekrom. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> I knew it was something ridiculous. But I just needed to check it out for myself. Well run. It was just out of interest. It was just out of interest. But yeah, as I was saying, the trainers are all mid forties, and uh, they're all ace trainers. So it's it's going to be a challenge to get through here unscathed. But I believe in the squad. Cindy Lou is a complete utility player with the the eight gems spouting from every orifice. So we're going to try and grab every item. I think there's a couple of TMs in here as well, and we're going to battle every trainer because we need that experience heading into the Pokemon League hopefully. And here's our first battle. But no, because we're rudely interrupted by Huntail. <laughs> so now is our chance for our first battle. I didn't come all this way to lose now. That possibility doesn't exist. 
his ace trainer Albert and he has Starmie. So the old obsession kicks in as these trainers are all mid 40s every Pokemon they're facing definitely is uh, fully evolved. Best shot here is probably the Rock Slide. I, I could have gone for the Poison Jab because I don't think we're outspeeding Starmie to be honest. We just got to hope that it doesn't have the the grass move. But I was thinking flinch but no we're not going to outspeed Starmie. Future Sight. So that's a big Psychic uh, type move that's going to be coming in. But if we can knock it out... No we can't. Right. right I'm going to go for the Poison Jab this time. Magnitude. We're resisting that. We're fine. Are we resisting it? No, we're not resisting it, but it's just we are defensive bam off. Poison jab isn't enough, so the future sight is coming in this turn, but we can take it. We can take it. The poison jab will take it to Starby, but if, does the future sight still still land after the attacker has fainted? We'll find out in a second. Yeah, it does. Right, that's fine. <laughs> oh no, and what a way to kick off the day. I would have, ideally I would have liked to, to close combat with Sop, but I'm going to go to Surge. The thing is, the way Arceus works is that it changes type based on the plate that it's holding, but because we can have random Megas in this game without Mega Stones, can we have random Arceuses without the plates? It could be any type. I think the safest play is probably to go out to Cindy Lou, the, the all-rounder, get off some neutral damage and uh, the decent HP, so is it standard Arceus? Yeah, it looks like, oh no, is that dark? Dark coloured, as in like a rock type, it looks a little bit less golden than normal, so I'm going to go for the surf and see if it's super effective. It's got judgement as well! What is the chances of that? Oh, this is bad, please be super effective. That definitely looks like the rock type. High roll or crit will kill Cindy Lou here, but I feel like I have to go for the toxic. I'm doing it. Come on, Cindy. Cursed body, we've disabled the judgment. The toxic connects. Right, so because judgment is now disabled, that f Cursed body is coming in absolute clinch. I'm going to heal up and see what else it has because the judgment was obviously the danger. What else has it got? Wake up slap, that's totally fine. And it's taking the poison damage. Oh, shit, man, this is an awful start. So we're going to go for the surf again because I'm sure that looks like the rock type Arceus. But I can't even remember if it was super effective because I was that disgusted by the amount of damage. See, it's not super effective. Right, maybe maybe the randomization is just f***ing with the whole thing. Maybe it looks like the rock type Arceus, but because it's not holding the plate, it actually isn't, if that makes sense. I think that's what it is. So I'm just going to test that out. This rock smash, therefore, would be super effective. Against the normal type. Yeah, super effective noise. And the toxic should hopefully take it out. It does. Oh, Christ. Not what I needed. Not what I needed. I did see after that first judgement. I really thought someone was going. If it wasn't for Cursed Body. <laughs> Our Cursed Body Mew. Oh, this is tense. This is absolute tension. Right, we've got another battle here. No gods, please. It's Ace Trainer Hope this time. She's got the Venusaur. That's Mega Venusaur. I think the play is to go to Surge and use the Blaze Kick. Could also go Hyung Min uh, as the Psycho Boost will be super effective. I don't think it would knock it out because it is so chunky and then we'd be dropping our special attack harshly so I'm going to switch to Surge and hope that there isn't something absolutely ludicrous on the switch happens here. Thrash. Jeez, it's a two shot. So because it's locked into Thrash I'm going to go out to Tarth who is immune to the thrash. Pro play. I think I'm going to nuzzle it. Iron Head's okay. Because we are the defensive monster known as Tarth. It does pitiful damage, but 
Venusaur is now paralysed. I'm going to just stick in and start Meteor Mashing. Maybe we can get a little attack boost. 47, I never even noticed how high that level was. That was a crit. Mudshot's going to hurt. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, it's time to get out of here. <laughs> We're in Psycho Boost range now. If it goes for the Mudshot again, Hyungman has good special defence. We'll eat it up. Could be paralysed. It's fully paralysed. You love to see it. And surely the Psycho Boost from here will be more than enough. The amount of having to use my brain in these first two battles is slightly freaking me out for the Pokemon League. Just because we have reached the point now where everyone has fully evolved ones. Everyone's getting their levels though, which is which is fantastic. Because we need them. The less grinding we have to do at the end, the better. Right, we're heading further into into the deep. Or attempting to at least. There we go. It's a one-way system when it comes to head into the, uh, onto the ladder and we don't have flash so we are extremely hindered here with our eyesight. This whole playthrough I've been like worrying about having not having Toxic on the team and I feel like I was justified there with the Arceus. Right, we've got the PP up, that's good. That's what she said. That's my joke, damn it Dwight. Right, there's someone up here and here we are. It's so dark. Expert Bryn has two Pokemon. The first, oh, don't be Mega Kangaskhan. Ah, oh, man. Right, it's not got Parental Bond. And it's not got Power Up Punch. It's got Imposter, though. Right. Mew's probably the best thing that I could have turned into, if we're being honest, because we saw what happened with Fomega. I'm going to go into Fomega. It could Toxic, but we have the Dark Pulse. Nah, it's Strength. We're okay. I hate facing imposter Pokemon because it does mean that the movesets are, are actually legit. Is that a crit? Oh, it's a crit. I'm gonna have to heal up after this. And there's the toxic. It does give us time though to fire off the final Dark Pulse which will get rid of the Kangaskhan. So this will be super effective. But it's a weak move so we're fine. The defense falls. So we're really hoping that this uh, this gets the KO, <laughs> and it does. <laughs> and Fomega does his job, and he will be removed from the field swiftly. A bomb of snow. Times four, weak to the fire. That means we go to surge. Please don't be Mega, honestly. Jeez, if this is Mega, I'm going to start questioning something. It is right. I've got a feeling this is based on nothing other than the amount of Megas we're now encountering. That when when I was setting up this game, when I said that it should be everything should be fully evolved by the time it gets to plus forty, I'm wondering if it thinks that regular Abomas Snow is not fully evolved because there's a Mega Evolved form. Because have we encountered a Pokemon since level forty that can Mega Evolve? I don't know. You tell me. Well, let's go for the Blaze Kick. This thing is super super slow. We get the knockout. It's a little bit concerning that we're seeing so many Megas. Right, that looks like a ladder. We'll head up there. Oh, this really is a challenge. Like, this is really, really a challenge. Another East Trainer. Not that we expect anything less in Victory Road. This is Edgar. Or Barracle. Oh, we don't have one of our uh, frightened type moves on Cindy Lou, unfortunately. But we've got Rock Smash. I think we just stick in and Rock Smash. Uh, is it really going to be worth it? Heat wave. <laughs> it's not super effective, so we're, we're taking it fine. That was a crit. The cursed body comes into play again. But this should do 1.5 damage than it did the last time. It looks like a high roll as well. So now, now we're talking double damage. Is that a citrus? Me citrus? Me citrus. It's harder then. Right. I'm going to just keep rock smashing. Because it's still at that 1.5 damage, so it's now at minus 2, and it was back to win. <laughs> minus 1. <laughs> we can just keep playing this game because I am going to win. Alright, there's the mud slab, he's changing it up. I don't know if he's just accepting his fate. But we did, oh, we did lower our accuracy. So he didn't accept his fate, it was actually a pro play in the sense that he's delaying the inevitable KO. And here it comes. 
even the absolute frailty that is Barbarical is a little bit challenging <laughs> when it's an ace trader on Victory Road. Right, we're going back down. Down to the dark basement. Jesus, it, honestly, it's so dark. It was all for a max elixir. Right, I think we just have to go back the way we came here. It's probably easier for you guys to see than it is for me, to be honest. Forgot to say as well, oh, as we get a battle here. Also chucked the, uh, oh, there's a double battle up there. Uh, I chucked the expert belt on Fomega. Done sparse. Because I thought expert belt, because of the, the quite varied moveset and protein, I thought that could work quite well. So the drain punch here will display the expert belt benefits as it goes down. Quite surprised that was a straight one shot on a Dunsparce. Oh, it's Dialga. Right, see, this is a prop. Like, this isn't a problem because we. Can, I think I think we can handle this with Fomega. But upon reviewing the team when I was looking at Teabag, Jenny, and uh, Shinobi, I was hoping one of them would learn a fairy move because we don't have any fairy offense. So when it comes to dragons, it's either ice or nothing because we don't have any dragon moves anymore either. So because it's Dialga, I think I am going to switch. I was thinking about sticking in with Fomega there, but I'm going to switch out to Sop. We'll Mega Evolve and we'll close combat. And we're going to hope that it's enough because we are going to lower our defences in the process. 43, so it's not too bad. Fingers crossed this is enough. I don't even, I don't know if we're going to outspeed because Sop is pretty slow. Sweet kiss. We're confused. Come on Sop, don't, don't hit yourself. Oh. Playing this game. I'm going for the CC again though. Weather ball! That's not gonna be grass. I just instantly think grass, but we're not in a we're not in a grassy terrain. We're okay. Come on, break through. Yes, here's the close combat. Yes! If it wasn't enough, I was thinking about considering switching out, but Sop comes through and takes down the Dialga. Street Thug Reagan. So yeah, I'm a little bit worried about that double battle up there because because a double battle at this stage with uh, these kind of trainers is gonna be really <laughs> Really upsetting. Oh, speak of the devil. What's our strats here? I think we have to include Tarth so we can paralyze and sleep. Although that does also bring in the chance that we can take two special hits in one turn. So yeah, I'm not actually going to do that. I think for all roundedness, we're going to go Fomega and Sop. I think that's a good play. Double Ace Trainer Battle. We are an invincible combination. Ugh. Just don't be too wild. Please don't be too wild. Is it Mega Aerodactyl? Right, okay, oh my god. It's White Curin. But at least we know that the... That's 47s. What I said about the Megas isn't true. So that's something. We're just having really bad luck. So Curin's going to be faster than Formiga, definitely. And if it has an ice move, it's not good. But I think we're just going to go for it at this stage of the game. I mean, this is such a powerful duo that if we start switching, people are going to be switching in to absolute power. So we're going Drain Punch into the QRM from Fomega, and we're going Mega Evolve Sop, Rock Slide into both. Aerodactyl's got the Sky Uppercut, that's going into Fo Oh no, that's fine. Jeez. I thought it was going into Fomega. Zen Headbutt's not going to be super effective on either. And Sop, that's fine. I would rather. I mean, they're they're targeting the, our strongest member, but he's also the strongest attacking and defensive. So I don't mind that at all. The Drain Punch does a lot on Curum, which is great. And the Rock Slide, ah, oh, gets avoided by Aerodactyl, but it's going to connect on the Curum. How much are we going to do? Not enough to take it out. And the Flame Orb comes into play with Aerodactyl. We're bullet punching Curum because that is super effective because of the ice typing and for Aerodactyl we're going to waterfall. I'm feeling better, I'm feeling better about this already. Obviously because Curum is now knocked out. This is unbelievable. Victory Road is just insane. Omega gets a ton of experience off the, the white Curum. Defog. Defog away. Will it be enough? It is and the burn was going to help us anyway but we didn't need it after all. Oh, <laughs> this is something else. We're hopping on water now, so where is this going to take us? Oh, this is where we temporarily exit uh, Victory Roads, and we get a TM. Come on, come on. Dynamic Punch, is that the one that's 50% accurate? Yeah. 
but if it hits it confuses the opponent so it's really good if you've got no guard where your where your moves always hit right let's head back inside Yet another battle awaits us. No time to talk. Yet here you are, talking to me. Vanillax. This what? That's, that's, a, that's a bit more handleable. Although we don't really have anything for Vanillax. I think I'm just going to fake tears first of all. And then go for a cycle boost. See what happens. It's not the big, it's not the big crunch. Uh, and just as well. And you know what, I'm not even going to stick about here because I'm not losing Young Men in Victory Road to a Vanilla Ox. He can eat a bite and uh, in return he will Storm Throw. Which is a nice two shot. Psychic from the Vanilla Ox could be powerful. It's not too bad. But the Storm Throw will finish it off. These levels. Your conviction could even crush Rock. Time to chat now. Mirror coach shenanigans. Right, we've got another ace trainer. They're all ace trainers and experts. Which is, I suppose, what you would expect. Oh, it's Therian. Is it Therian? No, it's not. <laughs> it's nearly unleashing curse words there. We're just going to Aurora Beam straight out the gate here. Deep Pulse Thunderous. It's a neutral hit, but it's, it's, uh, it's not bad. But we're out damaging. Morning Sun? Disgusting tactics. <laughs> Is it going to just start morning sunning? Oh, it's magic room. We're fine. So our never melt ice is no longer in effect, but uh, we don't need it to knock out the thunderous. That'll be a big, nice chunk of experience for Kingwin. Grand Bull is coming in, so that's fairy. This is the sort of Pokemon it could have done with a Mega, to be honest. D Dance Grand Bull. It's just got interesting, but luckily we do have our most defensive Pokemon on the field. So even if it does start unleashing physical hits, which it won't. Iron Barbs though. Yeah, it, that's the sort of Pokemon it could have really done with a Mega to kind of give it that little something extra. There's a whole bunch of these types of Pokemon, really. Medicham. This could be this could be a, a Mega. We don't actually have anything super effective for Medicham. <laughs> so we're going to switch. And we're going to just go neutral damage all the way. And for that we go to Sop. We don't have any flying, we don't have any bug, we don't have any ghost. It's just standard Medicham anyway, so. Well, they're setting up. Special defense rises, which is not what you want to be doing against a Mega Sop. Because he is the physical boy. And low kick. I mean, we're, we look heavy. But obviously we're not too heavy if that's all the damage it's doing. Neutral hit, I suppose, so I can't really see that. But Medicham goes down. Better than my family, is that possible? Yes. If this is a hint... Oh! <laughs> Look at the cape on this boy! Another person with the exclamation mark appears when they're facing the other direction. Dragon Tamer Egon, now that cannot be a coincidence. Egon Tar- we're about to face Egon Targaryen. Will he have a dragon? Nah. <laughs> Pretty much the antithesis of a dragon. So it's Water Fairy. There's a chance that it could have a, a decent physical move that could hurt us quite a bit here. Icy Wind is not something that's going to uh, scare us in the slightest. So we'll need one more. The question is will he outspeed us this turn now that it's going to slow us down with the Icy Wind? Not that it matters, because if Icy Wind's all he's got to offer. We're just going to Aurora Beam to conserve the PP for now. And Egon Targaryen bends the knee to Hyung Min. You. <laughs> you. Not only a bastard, but a traitor's bastard. Yep, that's a ladder. <laughs> Honestly, hard to even notice that. Right, okay, we're back up here. Crossing bridges. Oh, and now here's that double battle that we spied earlier. Right, who's the team? Surgeon Cindy Lou need the levels. 
I feel like we have to play it safe and just go with our new double double battle team. I mean, this could be the last double battle in the game for all I know. Because uh, there ain't going to be any in the Elite Four. But here we go. Something a little bit less scary than the, the white uh, Kurim and Aerodactyl would be nice. Mantine and Venusaur. Right. That's okay. It's Mega Venusaur again though. I was considering, I really was considering Surge, which would have been great for the, the Mantine, but... So I think we go Rock Slide with Sop again, because that'll be super effective on the Mantine and we'll get some residual damage on the Venusaur. The question is, what do we do to the Venusaur with Foam Mega? Or do we go for a defensive play and switch our type? We don't want to switch to Fighting because Mantine could have the Stab, which would be super effective. So I think we just go Neutral and we go Dark Pulse. Yeah, we'll Dark Pulse the Venusaur and Mega Evolve Rock Slide. Spore. The, the only 100% sleep move in the game. It's not really much. Oh, Mantine's setting up for the crits. It's getting pumped. Hopefully Sop doesn't stay asleep for too long. I now realise that I'm staying in on a, a Mega Venusaur or a Sop, but I think the fact that it didn't use a grass move is a great sign. But I am going to switch out probably this turn. I'll Dark Pulse the Venusaur again. And I think I will go into Surge. No, we'll go into Hyungmin. We'll go into Hyungmin because we have Aurora Beam. Which does ne neutral damage against the Mantine, but it's super effective. Oh, no. So we've got one Pokemon sitting at plus one attack, plus one speed. And the other one is sitting at plus one critical hit. If I could get a crit here, that'd be nice. But we don't. Secret Sword. Hopefully that's into Hyung Min. No, it's not. It's into Omega. That was a crit. Right. I'm going to switch Omega out for Tarth. And with Hyung Min, we're going to Aurora Beam the Venusaur. Because that Secret Sword's not going to affect Tarth if it goes for it again. And we've only seen physical moves so far. Oh my god. Right on cue. Please. Man team, do not target, do not target Tarth with something other than Secret Sword. Right, we're fine. Doesn't affect Tarth, which saves Tarth's life. Maxi High, it goes for the Dragon Dance and then uses a special move. Just baiting me, baiting me to bring Tarth in. I'm going to bring Sop back in and we're just going to get rid of the, the Venusaur. Oh, double battles, I knew this was going to be a pain. Here's the Heat Wave, which is totally fine on both these guys. And the Aurora Beam finally gets rid of the Mega Venusaur. And here's the Flame Burst. Tarth. This was this battle was no place for Tarth. Absolutely no place for Tarth. I'll Rock Slide because it's super effective. And I'll Cycle Boost for the neutral damage. Might even be enough to be honest because it's just a, a, a hideous move. It's not enough. <laughs> the Secret Sword's totally fine. It looks like that's another one of these moves that always gets a crit. I was going to switch out because Cycle Boost is so reduced now, but we're in a good spot with the, the moves that we know Mantine knows. So I'm not I'm not even going to worry about switching someone else in because Shion may not be able to eat that if it, if it is ever targeted. That was a, another crit, so yeah, it looks like uh, Sop is just not going to wake up today. We're going to heal him up just in case something horrible happens. Ugh, I don't want to know. I don't want to use the Cycle Boost because we're... We're running out of them. And who knows if we could need them. <laughs> Round the corner. On that note, I'm heavily considering getting rid of Cycle Boost for the Elite Four. I'm still asleep. Because the accuracy is, is a little bit too much for me. Eh, yeah, stop wakes up. Right. Aye, the lack of accuracy on Cycle Boost makes me want to throw Psychic on there. I think I can learn Psychic. We have the TM. Maybe I'm mistaken that. Right, they're bickering. Let's just quickly check that. Yeah, okay, forget I said anything. Hyungmin cannot learn Psychic, which is pretty upsetting. It looks like we're heading upstairs for the first time. I remember this place now. Yep. I remember thinking this was awesome. How Victory Road was actually covered in a bit of grass and not just a rocky cave. The Dowser's picking up something. There we go. It's an iron. And I'm not sure if we've got a few of these vitamins. I'm not sure if we're going to use them or sell them, depending on how our money's looking before they before we go into the elite four. Oh, we've got waterfall now, so we can actually go up there. 
we've got a TM. High crit, not something we're going to be utilising. Back down we go. Right, let's head across here. Can't be too much further to, to go. I bet you must be surprised to see me in a place like this. I'll be clocked you in the cutscene. That promise that we made back then, thank you for keeping your end of it. It was really all thanks to you that I could make it this far, Stan. It was only because I lost to you back then that I could become even stronger. I'm sure that you and your Pokemon must have had to overcome a lot too. To make it all the way here, right Stan? You have no idea, Wally, you have no idea. I did ride on the back of a Groudon. Also was abandoned in the middle of the ocean. Everyone's grown so much, and now we'll finally get to see just what we all can do. Standing here facing you again gives me chills. But I won't give up. And there it is. The boss Wally music. I won't lose anymore. My Pokemon have given me the courage and strength to fight. I have to win for their sake. This is all that stands between us and the Elite Four now. So get ready, here I come. That's so cool. I remember that. Oh, he's got the Mega, he's got the Mega! I remember thinking it was so cool that the music just continues straight into the encounter. He's leading with Gallade! Is that, that's a, is that a coincidence? Oh my god, that's actually an unbelievable coincidence. What? The fuck is going on? what? Like, that's actually just blown my mind. In the games, his Mega is Gallade. And he leads with a Mega Gallade that doesn't need to Mega Evolve. Jeez. And just like Medicham, we don't have anything super effective for this thing. That tune though, <laughs> it's easing the, the stress that I'm currently undergoing. I'm gonna dive. Grassy terrain, that's that's totally fine. It's gonna be benefiting everyone. <laughs> so we'll see what he tries to do here. Pursuit, right. We know he has the pursuit. So I'm glad we didn't lead with Cindy Lou. So I think for the time being, we'll do another couple of dives. And then once we're in range, we'll maybe think about firing off a Volt Tackle. Do we get the grassy terrain when we're underwater? We don't. It's a crit, monstrous critical. Oh no! This is sweep territory. He's at plus six. <coughs> Can I just say, once again, completely masking the stress, but it's so fitting. That he has Omega Gallade and it has Anchor Point, and he's threatening to sweep my whole team on the first Pokemon. I think this could be the end of Surge, because <laughs> he's definitely faster than us on the, on the base stats. But whether or not I've gathered some more EVs than him, because he might just have zero EVs because he's a an AI trainer. And if I switch out, the pursuit is a, a, an absolute devastating hit because it does double damage. We've got an X Defend because at the end of the day. He is going to hit first here. Surge, my boy Surge. Let's, let's talk this out. I don't have priority on Surge. If I dive, he's going to hit. He's at plus six. It's only doing three, at plus six you do three times damage. I think I could survive that because look, if we, if we're, if this is one, I can't remember. I'll be honest, I can't remember. But if this is one pursuit that is hit, 129 down to 102 is 27. So it's so close. We could survive potentially. You know what, because we could survive, I'm going to go for a dive and hope that we get another crit. Surge, I know we're so close to the, the Pokemon League, but if you switch out now, you're going down because you cannot take a double damage pursuit from a plus six Gallade. <laughs> but there's a chance. You have a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. So let's dive. Come on, Surge, survive this. Survive it. No, he didn't survive it. 
There was a chance. There was a chance. Yeah! Right, so now we have to seriously think about our situation. We don't really have anyone speedy on the team. So we have to think about alternatives. We've got priority on Full Mega, which would turn us into Steel Type, which wouldn't resist, but it would give us a shot. We can't go into Cindy Lou, we can't go into Hyungwin, we can't go into Tarth. They're all weak to the pursuit. So I tell you, a Psychic fighting Pokemon really is our weakness. Oh, Surge! Surge! Right, we go for Mega. We go for Mega and we go for the priority. And then if if, if sh hits the fan and it's got a fighting type move, we bring in Sop if for Mega goes down. But how much is the bullet punch gonna do? It's a two shot. That was a crit. Oh yes, he goes for the grassy terrain. We go bullet punch again. Yes! Didn't need the crit. Mega Gallade from Wally. Without Surge though, a lot of our C Victory Bell would have been great to have Surge. But no, we're gonna to go to Hyung Min. And that's about it that we have right, yeah, we have to. We have to go Hyung Min. I'm gonna prep it with the fake tears just to try and ensure the one shot because I don't wanna go down to to minus two and then have nothing Oh Christ, come on, you've got to be kidding me. The grassy terrain helps a bunch, thanks Mega Glade. We've lowered its special defence, we have to go for it. Cycle boost. Down goes Victory Bell. Human needs to come out now. Giraffe Rig. Normal Psychic. I think we go to Full Mega here. See, when you take Surge out of this team, it actually really does remove a lot of the, uh, of the coverage with the electric and fire. But we go for the Dark Pulse here. It's a one shot. Cursed body, so Dark Pulse has been disabled. The grass disappears from the battlefield and Toxic Rope comes in, which is times four weak to the cycle boost, so we'll go for that. I mean, we are not at full health, but I feel confident that Toxic Rope's not going to have anything, hopefully, that could take us out from here. We have to go for it though. Yes. Oh no, we miss! Leaf Tornado, that's okay. We go again. Cycle boost, our final cycle boost connects. That's got to be a one shot. And it is. And is that just one left? Oh sh! I think he's got a mega. Like an actual mega. Odino, right, that's fine. Mega Odino. Christ, what an absolute non mon of a non mega. So it's mega is normal fairy, which means we go to SOP, Mega Evolve, Mega V Mega, Poison Jab. Oh, Wally. What have you become? I think Wally's mega evolved into a capable trainer. Oh man, we're gonna have to really rethink this team. We're gonna have to, I was hoping we didn't have to do this, but we're gonna have to rejig the team going into the Elite Four. Poison Jab. It isn't even a two shot, but we get the poison, so it will be a two shot. Mirror move. Right, I thought it was Mirror Coat. <laughs> right, we're okay. Poison takes it down to half health and the big poison jab will finish the job hopefully. If not, the poison will. Yeah, the poison will take it out. Minor move. Thanks for coming, Wally. Not. We did get lucky with the Mega, but the exact opposite of that obviously happened at the start of the battle. Where it had <laughs> the, the maddest coincidence in this whole playthrough where Wally leads with a, a Mega Gallade and we defeat Wally in the flower fields of Victory Road. He's not happy, but he put up a fight. He put up a decent fight and I can only commend him on his performance to be honest. You and your Pokemon too, thank you for not holding back. Well, thank you for not holding back on poor Surge because he's not going to make it to the Pokemon League which has been his dream since he was a wee baby. I feel like I've been able to take another step forward thanks to you. I'll give you this to keep. A Dawnstone. Now that is an insult. That is an insult. If you have a male Curlia as one of your partners, you know what? We do have a male Curlia, don't we? We'll need to check him out. We didn't nickname him. <laughs> he could be one of the considerations. There's so many considerations. Oh jeez. What a battle. What a battle. But as we exit Victory Road, 
the sun above the Pokemon League burns our eyes as we follow the path under the arches with the camera's swooping down. This is going to be a big reveal. And there it is. The Pokemon League. We've only gone and f***ing made it. Before we heal up, we have to do the, the unthinkable. We'll take the zap plate and we move Surge into the graveyard where he is in fantastic company. Exashi 12, Frodo. Unbelievable company. So we're down to a team of five and our coverage has been destroyed. We now have no electric moves. We have no fire moves. A rethink is on the cards. But we'll worry about that between episodes before the finale. We'll need to grind up a little bit as well because I do know that Sydney, the first member of the Elite Four, has level 50s mainly and his ace is 52. So I think we're going to match his 50s and then as we progress through the Elite Four, hopefully the levels get harder and harder and we will be lower than our opponents. But that's what makes it a challenge at the end of the day. But let's just check actually, let's just check to see, I'm not sure if the if the Elite Four first pass through have uh, Megas, if they actually have Megas. Right, we're on Bobopedia and we've closed down the million ads. And here is Sydney's team, so you can see that it does have the Absol as the, as the ace, but is not holding the Mega Stone. Level 52. We're going to grind up to level 50, but it doesn't have Mega, so... You know, it's, it's disappointing because it's good for the challenge, but I'm not going to go off on Game Freak and Masuda again because I've made my feelings clear on the matter. Even made that lovely trailer for them after my slip of the tongue that caused some, some issues. Haven't heard anything back. Uh, slightly disappointing because I was hoping to repair those relationships, but I don't want to go off on another rant about it at this stage. Actually, you know what? F*** it. I think I will. Why the f*** wouldn't you put Megas on the other- え、20周年ということで、え、めでたいポケモン頑張ったえ、ゲムリックのマサですえ、え、自分あのポケモンアカミドリは え、開発6年ぐらいかかっているので、え、ま、もう26年ぐらいずっとやってるんですけど、え、ま、最初の頃はあの、ずっとプログラマーと、あとはえ、音楽の作曲、え、ポカ音作ったりもしてました。え、